I've already started off with is my BB cream and I've already applied the foundation and blended it in so we're going to go straight onto the eye makeup with this one. I've already done my left eye and now I'm going to work onto the right. The first thing that I'm going to be using is a makeup primer. I'm going to be covering the whole lid and then also a little bit in the inner corner where I do tend to get a little bit of discoloration and slightly dark circles. So I want to cover it up with the primer and then I'm going to blend it out. The eyeliner I'm just going to do a very small simple line right at the very roots of the lashes for the moment. I'm going to be elongating this and doing it a lot more elaborately later but we just want to get that basic line down for the moment. Once I've done that I'm going to be taking a light green eyeshadow applying that in the inner corner of the eye and blending it up towards the crease. We won't be putting any of this green colour down the centre of the lid we just want to keep that in the inner corner on the upper and the lower lid and then also a little bit on the outer corner. Once I've blended that out with a brush, I'm going to be using a different colour and this one's a very interesting colour because it's brown but in certain lights it has this beautiful blue metallic finish and I'm going to be applying that with my fingers right down the centre of the lid and then blending it out. For a little guideline I'm going to be using a dark green eyeshadow and we're going to be doing a wing on the outer corner of the upper lid and then a little bit on the lower lid as well except this one we won't be going over it with eyeliner. On the lower lid you just want to get that lovely little wing and really blend that into the lashes. Now on the upper lid we're going to be going back to that liquid eyeliner that I used and the easiest way to do this is to look down into a mirror and do a straight line from the highest point on your lid all the way to that corner that you've already drawn and then fill it in. Once the eyeliner is filled in, you're going to start at the inner corner of the eye and you're going to do a line just above the crease and connect that to the very top of the winged eyeliner. Now at first this is going to be a little bit shaky but that's fine, just go over it and neaten up the edges and then do one more little curve in the inner corner of the eye. And if you're a little unsure about that, that's fine. You could also use a white eyeliner just as a guideline to get the eyeliner right and then go over that. Now I've also applied some false lashes. Now for the lips what I'm going to be doing is using the same colour that I've been using for the last two looks but then over that I'm going to be using a mulberry colour just to make it more dark and Slytherin like. I'm going to finish off with a green rhinestone on the outer corner and then a white rhinestone in the inner corner. And then that's it, you're done.